Vice President Mike Pence spoke to a crowd of hundreds at Dobbins Air Reserve Base in Marietta. The Vice President left on Air Force Two just before 3 o'clock this afternoon, headed back to D.C., of course. Channel 2's Liz Arts was at Dobbins when the Vice President landed and told the crowd this administration is going to spend money on the military and stand up to our enemies. To work with this Congress, and we're going to pass the largest increase in military spending since the days of Ronald Reagan. We're going to get it done, and we're going to rebuild our military. Vice President Mike Pence told a crowd of nearly 300 airmen, civic leaders, congressional staffers, and war veterans Friday that this era of budget cuts is over. The president signed a $21 billion increase in funding for the armed forces of the United States. It was the largest investment in military readiness in nearly 10 years. The vice president landed on Air Force Two at Dobbins Air Reserve Base in Marietta just before 11 o'clock. He's in town to stump for Karen Handel, a candidate for the 6th Congressional District, but spoke to this crowd for about 40 minutes before leaving for a luncheon. Pence took pictures and shook hands with current military personnel like Staff Sergeant Isaac Caleb, who returned from Afghanistan in April. I just I told him I appreciated him come out, coming out to support us, and um, it was a nice experience to meet him. He also honored World War II veteran Alan Hall, who told us Pence's words are reassuring. We didn't fight that war over there in World War II in vain because of what was all that's going on and tragedies in our country here. And uh, Before Pence left the base in a motorcade, he talked tough about fighting global terrorism. We will hunt down and destroy ISIS at its source, and we will drive the cancer of radical Islamic terrorism from the face of the earth. In Cobb County at Dobbins Air Reserve Base, Liz Arts, Channel 2 Action News. And Channel 2's Richard Elliott was also at that event today. He found out just how much money Vice President Mike Pence raised for Karen Handel. That's all new coming up on Channel 2 Action News at 5 o'clock.